You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe he did get away. I don't know. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? Well... You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. That's a thing to say. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Shit! Oh, fuck! Shit! Are you okay? Fine. I'm kinda fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? 
But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. 
Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I did take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. 
You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. No. You're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Which way out? Through there. Savannah.
done? A little more. I want to be sure. <laughs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Wake up! Please don't be dead! Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I... I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead, for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. I got 
you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But it would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure. I don't turn. You won't, though. Clem, I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. There, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. to that door, and everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Get first. 
Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Watch out! my turn, honey. If I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Clem. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm trying. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. Sorry you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Domeed and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. Be afraid. <laughs> 